I'm here outside the bank and somebody has died in their car and so the parking lot is full of ambulances and police officers. It is so cold. I wonder if it has something to do with the temperatures here. It's I I don't remember it ever being this cold. So really really sad. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. On this channel, we discuss family food, family fun, but most of all, family finances. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. So it is envelope stuffing time. Look at that. It's the monthly cash. And I'm in a parking lot again. Safety first. I know, I know, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get this organized, set, and ready to go. I will tell you, I took out $200 less than I normally do because I, I was given a gift card for $200 for Christmas and I wanted to purchase some things for myself and I ended up purchasing several of those things from Poshmark and my Poshmark account was hooked up to my debit card so I forgot to change the form of payment over because Poshmark has this new way of doing stuff so I ended up doing those from the debit card. So I am going to be using this $200 gift card towards our grocery budget this month. And so it's gonna be like a swap rooney sort of thing, but that's okay. So let's get started. So normally I take out $630, but this month I took out 440 because I went to the ATM instead of going into the bank and it has to be multiples of 20 and the 200 is the gift card that I just talked about. So we are going to put 260 for groceries, 200 for blow money, 200 for dry cleaner, 200 $30 for haircut, $20 for Saudi beauty, and $100 for the family out. And we're going to have an extra 10 in there, so I'll probably go ahead and put it on grocery. I am loving our new slash old system where I have this old wallet I have had for forever, and I have just put little labels in there, and in the back I am using some envelopes that I got from Becky6066. And this is working out amazingly well. So let's go ahead. I've got 200 in my grocery. So let's go 20, 40, 60. So that's 260 for grocery. And then 200 for my blow money. So, oh, it drives me crazy when all the dollars aren't the same way, but oh well. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Dry cleaner is 20. Now the haircut is 30, but I only have 20s. So I'm gonna put 20 in there and when I'm going to the grocery store right now, I'm gonna have to break that. So Mauricio's haircut is 30. So when I get my groceries, I'll get a 10 back. I'm sure I'll ask for change. And then the last one, two, three, four, five is a hundred dollars or family outing money and I will tell you I had to borrow 20 bucks for my dad so I am taking 20 out and putting it in my purse for my dad so I am off to Trader Joe's and then I don't know Safeway Harris Teeter I haven't decided I am over in a part of town I really only come in for Weight Watchers meetings and uh, Trader Joe's so I don't go to the Harris Teeter here very often 
my former trainer works at that Harris Teeter, and I don't know that I want to run into her today because I got to buy a lot of junk. Is that wrong that I don't go to a particular grocery store because I know my trainer works there? My former trainer. I haven't worked with a trainer in a while. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.